this time. Hey, it's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, Colts fans get the return of their franchise quarterback, Andrew Luck, after a year away. As they'll face off against a team that was shut out in their opener a season ago, the Cincinnati Bengals. I'll be back at halftime with a look at games in progress. But first, we get it up to Indy. Standing by our guys in the booth, Brandon Gott and Charles Davis. And we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium, which opened back in 2008 here in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here at Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. The linebacker, Preston Brown, brings him down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They keep it on the ground. Mack again. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Luck looks to throw on third and one. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he goes out right around the 39. Luck able to find Hilton there for a cold first down. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Staying on the ground with Mack. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. 
Open man is Darius Fountain. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And a nice start there to the aerial attack to pick up the first. And I think preseason is officially over now. Getting into the groove of the regular season, that's a great way to get started. First drive of the season, what a nice completion. fake the problem is nobody was faked out <laughs> and when no one's faked out what's the end result sack. quarterback gets hit <laughs> coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack <laughs> on second down here's Long. flush to his right had his hands on it but dropped it the rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake third down Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Check 50, check 50. One, six, two, three, check 50, two, five. Play action, it's locked. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's got Rodgers. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Chester Rogers, 27 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. A run by Mack to start the drive. Able to fight through one tackle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Now a first down throw, Locke. Forced out to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second and ten, Locke. He's going to look deep down the field. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Doris Felton with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Colts are in for six. Although it's more commonplace now than at any other time in the NFL, it's still tough to think about throwing a rookie quarterback right into the fire week one. But guess what? He handled the fire awfully well and threw his first touchdown pass. So following the fumble, this offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. Right. 
Starting the drive with a give to Mack. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. There is no doubt that Geno Atkins is really strong and stout at the point of attack, but I love his suddenness. The ability to make plays, to be in one spot, and then he's gone. And into the offensive backfield, he's a heck of a player. And there, a big TFL tackle for loss. Hard to believe that his father, Gene Atkins, was an NFL defensive back. He's bred this big defensive tackle. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. He's going to launch this thing. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Chester Rogers already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can stay. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take right, over. Throw, throw, throw. <laughs> Luck on first down. Going for the deep ball. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, he's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jack Doyle as the first half is winding down. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They begin the drive on the ground with Mack. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Off of play action, Luck. Now he'll let it go deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. A big play there for Indy. 61 yards. And now he'll tuck it and run. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run it with Mack. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. A three-yard touchdown run. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Luck. Ebron's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he 
He's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. 23 yards on the play. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. It will even out as the season extends because everyone will get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. And he takes this down deep into Cincinnati territory. That one goes for 36 yards. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now back now here on ea sports it's the colts they've got control of the football they also have the lead as we start the fourth second and goal and they will try again from the two yard line they come out five wide three of them to the right side love and he's going to find Doyle in the end zone for a Colts score. Jack Doyle, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Colts add on to their lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. offenses have been clicking in this one a lot of points on the board we'll see if that trend continues they'll run with Mac and taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down a 14 yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On the run, it's Robert Turbin. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in for a cool score. Turbin taking it in from four yards out. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. When you talk about a battle being won in the trenches, that touchdown right there, a lot of credit to the offensive lineman. Yeah, when you watch them surge across the front, they really created great space for the runner to get in. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first and ten, Lock. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, 
You don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take it like total at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Well, he left side, and he's got a man. It's Doyle. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he stopped immediately there. The Colts on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Love. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight-yard line. Three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. From the gun, here's Love. And he fires one incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Colts in possession of football as we get your reset. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. Out of the gun, Luck. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Doris Fenton making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Colts add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Luck gonna throw it, able to get away. Now a hit and Luck lost the football. It's out. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and fifteen. To throw on second down is long. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a carry for Mack. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's Mack. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. 
And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. On third down, that's Mapp. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They snap it to Law. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. like it because you really build to a crescendo but the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the Super Bowl I was really excited I could barely sleep last night I can't imagine being a player so for the Colts that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0 and they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Redskins Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.